Well, welcome back to another video. I'm Jeffrey, and I'm here to break down the most awesome song I've made in a long time, New Threat. As you can see, here I am with the entire project. This took a lot longer than it probably should have, but hey, to make a song like this, it takes as long as it needs to take. About 16 hours and 55 minutes. So I'm gonna break down the entire track and show you the effects I use, samples, my vocals, chains mastering so let's get to it now starting right from the beginning we have a couple of things going on so let me play you what that is So sick. Um, first thing we have here is our mandolin. Came from this contact instrument. Not sure exactly what contract instrument, but uh, I used it and I had to render it out because I couldn't find the instrument anymore. So here we are. We just have that there. And that's kind of what turned it to the real acoustic notes that you hear when I come in. What else do we have here? So we have our um, main electric guitar that was taken from the chorus itself and uh, we put a little filter down on it um, actually on this actually so it's very subtle so it just kind of remains calm throughout the intro I kind of want to have it build up right into the verse uh, what else have we got going on so we got strings now it seems that I think um, yeah this is also controlling the strings. Now you probably are asking, what strings are these? Well, uh, so the strings are actually from this Intimate Studio Strings by ADO. And there is an option to use Spiccato. So here are the Spiccato strings by uh, ADO, Intimate Strings. And if we press one of the notes, So basically just kept a simple 16th and then I rendered it out because it just takes so long to load the samples in. So yeah, over here we do have a little bit more variation with the strings, an octave higher, and then I think a fifth. cuts right out to the drum. Lastly, down here, we have what seems to be guitar notes, but with a lot of effects on them. I'm guessing you want to know what that is, right? So over here in the channel 25, we have our Valhalla delay. Looks like I selected a pitch mode, which kind of just, you know, gets higher and higher each time you hear it. Kind of like that one sound toys plugin. Then after that, it's running into a Valhalla room for some ambience. And of course, I wanted to blend in with the other instruments, so we kick on our uh, little filter we have, kilohertz. So let's jump right into the first verse. Um, of course, it's kind of really minimal. I kind of followed it just as the other songs I've had previously released, like New Minimal. You know how there's a lot of silence in the song, if you haven't heard that. New Threat as well, with New new Heights, my bad. That's another song that I've done. So they're all kind of in the same um, same space as far as that minimalism of silence, instruments, silence, you know? So, let's break down this first part. What they gonna say? Mm -hmm. They acting like they never see me. I look to see another day. Mm -hmm. I know that they wanna be me. This what is pretty. So, of course, following that mandolin that I was talking about earlier, there was definitely a uh, guitar sound I was looking for, but 
I couldn't play it very well. Now, as you look to the right of me. Oh, hi. Yes, there is an acoustic guitar, but I didn't have this when I made this song. So I had to borrow one. I had to go to my church where I play my drums. You know, I play for the church and I had to ask, oh, you guys have any acoustics I can borrow? And I was like, oh, wait, somebody's here. I know that plays guitar. <laughs> my man, Zach Matson. Oh, my gosh. This man is phenomenal. At he's been doing it for years, so that's all I can say. And he's familiar with doing it in the doll recording. So I was like, this is the perfect time to let's look, let's link up. I know he's going to be there. Just grab the guitar and I'll tell you exactly what to do. And he's like, sure. And he didn't have, he didn't have any idea about the song. He just thought he was recording some stuff. Turns out this is his favorite song by me by far. And he's like honored to be in the song. So that's awesome. Here, this is him playing. This was at the church. We did it in Studio One and then we quantized it. Um, it did, you can, as you can see, it's a little bit changed. I'll play what it sounds like right now. <laughs> Oh, here's what it actually sounded like. The lowest note couldn't be played on that guitar, so we had to play that instead. So I just took the another sample and put it in front of it. A little bit later in about bar 13, we have some reverb that comes in to add some more space to the sound. A simple Valhalla room will do the trick. Next, we have that mandolin. Once again, the contact instrument. I believe, I think I found it earlier, so it should be this one right here. But yeah. Then we have this clock, this clock sound. I just thought it sounded cool, so it's, it's there. It's there. And over here, what looks to be a vocal. Our first vocal. No. I'm not sure why it's way up there. It's kind of like it's I'm isolating itself from its friends, huh? Why not? Why don't we show you what the vocals are doing right now? What they're gonna say? Ooh. They acting like they never see me. So for this vocal chain, definitely kept it pretty simple, but I've been using new plugins for the vocal chain. Uh, let's take a look. We'll show you each plugin by plugin. Our gate. What they gonna say? Mm. They acting like they never see me. Auto tune. This is my new auto tune I use by Crispy Tuner Brainworks. What they gonna say? Mm. They acting like they never see me. Kind of sounds a bit sharper than the Waves tune I've been using for quite some time. This EQ that looks uh, uh qu quite foreign and exotic, but it, you know, it does what it does. What they gonna say? Without it, actually, let me play these without it. What they're gonna say? Mm. They acting like they never see me. Then we have our DSer, SPL. What they're gonna say? Mm. They acting like they never see me. Then our compressor. What they're gonna say? Mm. They acting like they never see me. Quite a lot of game reduction, but it works. And then lastly, our EQ. What they gonna say? Mm -hmm. They acting like they never see me. So it's kind of a copy and paste from this vocal to the next chain. And then I add a couple more parameters. There's a bit of difference with these vocals and they fit kind of right with each other. So as an example, these, these right here. I know that they want to be me. So you hear the high one and the low one. I know that they want to be me. This is my favorite trick. I take the entire chain and pretty much copy and paste it. And this was what I've been using to widen the vocals to make them, you know, on one side and the other side and not down the middle. I know that they want to be me. And this one sounds very clean. I've tried this, the fruity one, the fruity stereo maker, and it doesn't sound the same as this one. Something about this one just kind of makes it more present. Oh, and lastly, our little, um, So that's basically just running through, I think, uh, yeah, I think it was running through a reverb and delay. Can't remember which might be, but maybe Valhalla, but, um, it's there just to add some, 
ambience of the sound. This world is pretty. This world is pretty evil. Okay, let's get right into the chorus. So this is what everybody's excited about. Like, how did you get it like this, Jeffrey? Like, this is something out of this world. I've never seen. Like, this is my. Oh my gosh, I'm freaking out. Uh. Okay, we'll get there right now. Let's do it. Eva, I'm a part of it. Thank goodness I wasn't really the start of it. They call me illegal. I like the thought of it. I live reckless, sort of like the college kid. Like the ego, yeah, I'm dumb in it. Thank goodness I wasn't really the opposite. They call me illegal. I like the thought of it. I live reckless, sort of like the college kid. So a lot of you are probably wondering, dang, how'd you make it sound so good with just like a couple of tracks? It looks like I thought I'd see like 24 thousand tracks but no hey new threat new minimal new 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 uh new height it's all the same straight from the top straight from the top this is me playing <laughs> i don't know why it says that chorus but that's actually me playing I w it was still at the church and it was still before i had that bad boy very heavy so I'll play you kind of basically how it went so we got a couple things going on with this guitar itself to give it a bit more drive we had to put some effects on it so starting with the first one some gate no background noise we want complete silence when there's no nothing happening simple as that going right into our parametric eq definitely a bit a bit more uh high mids just to add a bit more presence to the guitar then we got this plugin that probably no one's ever heard of or ever seen in their life. <laughs> it's called the Big Owl by Plugin Alliance, also by Neo, but it is definitely a distortion plugin, so it does look a little weird, but also looks kind of cool. But uh, this is what it sounds like without it, and then with it. Oh yeah, we're getting somewhere. And then we have our stereo maker. Basically like the vocals, except I probably selected a, uh, maybe a, the guitar, something like that, uh, preset. So we definitely want it wide and not down the middle, because that's where the vocals will be. So what we have here is our bass. Ooh. So this is definitely adding some some deepness to the sound. This is what is probably giving it its 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 sound itself. Um, of course, we had to add effects on it. So let's take it dry. It sounds almost about the same, but I wanted a bit more of it. So I decided to throw a saturation knob on here just to add a bit of distortion, and then uh, some EQing, which um, a little trick. This is uh, what I do, and I'm not sure if anyone else in the world does this, but if you try this on your low end, you're going to notice a difference. So um, I decided to do this is put a band stop filter somewhere around what looks to be 100 and 130. That's what it says. So a band stop is kind of just taking out that frequency itself and the other frequencies are still around it. So it kind of makes it sound a bit deeper than it's supposed to. So this is without it. And this is with it. So you can, you can kind of hear what it's doing. Kind of makes more room for things as well. The next one we have is a Reese Bass one shot from Antidote Audio. I don't have the sample pack anymore, but I definitely used it for this. Now this is stretched out. So it's pitched down and stretched out to make it sound the way it does. And I have it on mono, so it gives it that more uh, metallic-ish robotic sound, I guess. Very scratchy sound. And it works and it kind of goes with uh, the guitar in the top 
it kind of worked itself out. So that's kind of cool. Over here, it looks like do we have the guitar. So that was a simple guitar. I just played on my electric next to me. Um, and then I quantized it and threw it in a channel. This is what I use to process my guitars. And I just recently got this plugin like a couple months ago, and it's probably my favorite. It's called Electrum. And look at it, man. It's expensive right now. When I got it, it was on sale for a great price, so I decided to buy it. And I couldn't be happier, very satisfied with my purchase. Uh, this is without it. So yeah, definitely makes a difference. So yeah, definitely worth a look at this plugin if you wanna see about getting it or trying it out, check it out. Let's go to our drums. Well, that's as simple as it gets. Well, let's see what we're doing. But we are doing something with this this, uh, this uh, clap here, or this snap. Pushing it into the best VCT in the world. And good it. Yeah, but this is uh, the front doll plugin. Uh, just drive it, and it's kind of like soft tube. Just like the the sound signature, U.S., British, or German, and the mojo is kind of kind of how it controls the dynamics. Less distortion if you put it all the way up. More distortion if you put it down in the high pass filter. And then our soft clipper, so it's not going over zero. And then I took down some of the highs, just so it's not piercing. Next, we got more guitars, yeah. So, looks like I have played the same exact thing on my acoustic, but I added it with my electric. The only difference is, this one's pitched down a whole octave. So, what do we do with this? Sounds kinda cool. Then, I needed to have some wideness to it, so I decided to put the stereo maker, of course. Then I wanted to do something really cool with it, kind of how I did with that bass I was talking about earlier. I uh, wanted to do it with this guitar, so um, added a bit of a bandstop filter here and it took out some harsh frequencies in this area. So this is what it sounds like without it than with it so you can see how much of a difference that makes and it makes more room for other things to get in the way of it well not in the way but just be on top of it you know of course the filter which we're not using right now but it's here uh definitely in the beginning of the track like i said we had that filter going on so right now it's off and then in some places it's on and then lastly, our side chain, which is I just use fruity balance, it's as simple as it gets. One more thing, possibly the coolest guitar riff that I think I've done on my guitar. Um, the way I played this. Yeah, slow it down, play it, then speed it back up because I'm not that fast. So with the guitar, I decided to play something very uh, Middle Eastern sounding. I definitely wanted to go for that kind of vibe, but still like a gritty sound. So. This is what I play for the the first one. And then with effects on it sounds like this awesome. So of course when we get that sound uh you got to throw it through a, an awesome chain. Of course, the only thing I did differently was just drive the distortion as you can see here and uh we added this reverb which is called non-linear and I think it's one of the coolest reverbs I like playing with. Uh, this is without the reverb. And then with it. Very cool sound. Last but not least, our vocals. This world is pretty evil. I'm a part of it. Thank goodness I wasn't really the start of it. They call me illegal. I like the thought of it. I live reckless, sort of like the college kid. Oh. I get ego, yeah, I'm dominant. Thank goodness I wasn't really the opposite. So with stuff like this, vocals in particular, like timing is like everything. So you can tell like how Billie Eilish does her stuff, like 
all her vocals sound exactly the same and there are like plugins that you can use to kind of match up stuff like vocal line but for me i don't have that and i'm not cracking it and i'm not gonna buy it it's too expensive <laughs> i have to like train myself to be exactly with the first take i did like if it was perfect take i did i have to make the second take exactly as good as it this what is pretty evil like it almost sounds like the same take but different but it's it's different takes this what is pretty evil this what is pretty evil and then over here and over here wasn't really the start of it they call me illegal but yeah you can see how like identical these look and even multiple takes if i have to and just kind of compare them to get, put them together to make it work so um and of course we can't forget about our amazing vocal fill that just happens here College kid. Oh, I can so this obviously took a couple of tries to get it wasn't perfect but it it works perfectly oh, 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 oh. and then over here we have our little um plugin that's for vocals specifically uh, without it, it sounds like this. Ah. So it definitely added some depth. We can we can use this little area over here called space to uh, kind of give ourselves our sound a bit more uh, space, uh, as you can see. Go figure. Ah. Now let's move on to this second verse, which you say the rap section. Yes. So I took a little different approach. You know, some songs I don't technically rap on, or you probably don't hear me rap a lot on songs. I sing a lot, so. Um, definitely wanted to do it with this song because I feel like it just would sound really cool if I tried to or at least did it anyway so let's play this whole section and I'll break down this section right here in the city man you could put me to the test let me get it on my chest man I'm out here with the best yeah I'm looking for lovers dog I ain't looking for rest at the city I'm a bad I guess you can say I'm blessed I got what you need this is what I play what I play let me plant the seed you see what I say what I say ain't no questioning get it out the back yeah back yeah if you disagree Sick. So for this part, I definitely wanted a bit more low key, but still have that aggressive feeling, have that drive. It's about power. It's but yeah, we had to we had to do it. We kept a couple of things from the chorus and we kind of just transferred them over here. Like the bass. This is a different bass, I believe, so what it sounds like to me. Let's see. Yeah. It was just a sampled respace and I pretty much put it in key with the, the last one. Uh, as you can see, we have. That guitar, it's the same one from here. I just pitched it differently. Those chords, like I said, these guitar chords I played, but they're filtered down. Very, very low key. And then we had some different drums. I definitely wanted to try some things out. So I used some Vagence Electro loop samples. It kind of sounds like the Michael Jackson, the song, uh, All I Wanna Say at That Little Bit. That's what it sounds like. And then I took another uh, sample from a loop and just kind of made that the snare. Honestly, I think that sounds so sick. To be honest, that sounds so sick. So let's add these layer by layer, just you know, just kind of give a get the vibe of the thing. You know what I mean? Like, yo, this is so, like, it even sounds better. I've been, like, doing things with this whole mix. And one time I decided to put a distortion plugin straight on the master. Now, I can't remember which one it was, but it made it sound so sick. But the only reason I took it off is just because I wanted to have more of a radio-friendly sound. Um, but 
let me just show you guys what I really mean here. Just listen to what this sounds like right here. Even like digital distortion, just bringing up the volume on the master is amazing. Ugh. It really works in the chorus section because it just scares the crap out of you, man. You're just like, doo -doo 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 -doo. Pretty evil. oh my gosh. But yeah, dude, I really wanted to, but I was like, mm, let's keep it radio friendly. May, maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I'll consider doing it. You think I should uh, upload a distortion version on SoundCloud, guys? Or not SoundCloud. Should I put it on YouTube? I, I can upload it on YouTube. If you want a distortion version of this song, comment below. So let's break down this little uh, breakdown over here. My trophies are fine. Day one's on my side. Frozen in my back. Building my strength to G. Nobody's stopping me. I'm calling C'est la vie. This what is pay to eat. Boom. So, yeah, as you can see, same as before, guitar. Kind of how it was at the beginning at our clock. Oh, um, here we go. Oh, I guess the clock isn't here. Well, why isn't, I don't know why it's not working. The clock doesn't want to co cooperate today, guys. I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> but uh, we did add some strings. You know, just to build back into that chorus, because that chorus is powerful with our vocals. This is what we did. My trophies, I'm fine. Day one's on my side. Throws in my back. So... Obviously, I recorded another take just to kind of give it a more monotone and fi feeling. My trophies are fine. The ones on my side goes to my back. Probably messed up a little word there, but you can't really even notice it. And then a little higher area that I have sung. Goes to my back. Once again, distorted. And then we have this really cool thing I did. Wow. Oh. 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 Um, recorded into an auto tune because if you don't do that, it might not sound perfect. Like seriously, record into, if you're ever doing harmonies for a, a track, it's best to record into an auto tune, and it's okay if it's tight. If it's tight auto tune. Um, don't make it too loose because you you want these to all beat and key, and all you know. That's the reason why it will sound good. So these two takes sound delicious. Um, that's what that's what I try to do. That's a that's a good tip. Building my strength to G. Nobody's stopping me. I call it C'est la vie. And then right back into the chorus. Eva, I'm a part of it. Thank goodness I wasn't really the start of it. They call me illegal. So we already broke down that part. Now we're going to make our way to the probably the best part of the song. The build up and then this drop I have going on here. So we'll definitely break that down for you. Okay, we all know what this is. It's the one Zach did. Our mandolin. Um, the only thing I added was my guitar. Um, what looks to be a processed already. So it looks to... Uh, I think it was that same one from the beginning, you know, when I was talking about. Except I just put this take on it and uh, I could play real quick the part that I did for this so something like that next we have this clock and then it's running right into this guitar chain that I was talking about earlier Of course, another impact. Ooh, uh, Kashmir is not playing around, but for those who do know about the Kashmir impact, uh, number two. Yeah, that was an inside joke only a couple people. 
let's get back to it. We also have another impact. Or what looks to be white noise, not really an impact. Um, we have this uh, sample that I've made in 2017, I believe, and I just kept ever since. I love the sample. I don't know what it is about it, but I just love it. It just works for a lot of things. And then we have this sound here. It's like a, you know, like a war air siren or something. I basically just slowed it down and pitched it just so it fits into the thing. And then we have our strings once again. Oh, more guitar. So yes, yeah, so I played that and then quantized it. So that's why everything is so like exact onto the thing. All right, here we are. Here we are. The most awesome part of the song. Let's let's get right to it. There's a lot going on, so I'll break it down for you. I love that. I was like, I need to do something here because when the track wasn't finished, I didn't know what else to add. After the rap section, I had the chorus and then I didn't know what to add after that. So I literally just spent the whole day working on this. Uh, first thing we got going on here. This is um, a sample that I made myself from it. It was from another project and I just decided to render out. Probably distorted it a little bit. And then I have this ad lib of me saying, yo. Yo. Uh, and it's running through a uh, couple of things. Without it, it sounds. Yo. Oh shoot! Yo, yo. First thing we added was our gem voice. Yo, yo. Added some, uh, you know, how I was talking about earlier with the space. So this is what I was talking about. And then I did this really cool trick with the electron plugin I was talking about. That reverb that I was saying, the really cool non-linear reverb. I wanted to add it. Uh, at that part as well. Yeah! 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 And then uh, EQ it a bit. Yeah! Yeah! Rest my ears. And then we have some just uh, side chain going on right here. Yeah! And then um, the awesome drop. So we'll start from the top and work our way to the bottom. So as you can see, we have this vocal. <laughs> So what's going on here? This is a really cool thing that I'm doing. Uh, well, well, let's do it. So with no effects, we got for leverage dog. I ain't looking for rest. Let me get it off my chest, boy. I'm a. It was basically like the rap section. I was, I, I just took sections from that and uh, put it in various places. Um, first thing we added was some EQ. For leverage dog, I ain't looking for rest. Let me get it off my chest, boy. I'm just took out some low end, then our almighty gross beat. For level, level, and the dog rest. Let me get it, get it, chest off my chest. So it sounds a bit sloppy, but you'll see what plugin I use to combat that. We have our frequency shifter that comes in every now and then. For level, level, and the dog rest. Let me get it, get it, chest off boy, I'm, boy, I'm with the mother. And then we have our gem voice. For level, level, and the dog Wow, that's a, that's a lot. <laughs> it's probably this tape sim called Fuzz that's going on. It's probably what's doing all the work here. <laughs> this in space, but I also brought the limiter as high as it could go. Uh, without it, it sounds probably empty. Also added another EQ to kind of combat some frequencies. <laughs> And then lastly are what you could say LFO tool, but it's uh, Shut the F Up by Zeke Audio. Let me get it, get it, 
So it's basically like the LFO tool. It's just automating the volume, and I have put it on a mode that is fitting to the song. And then some sidechain with our fruity balance. And of course, I didn't want any low end, so I just took that out. And then over here, we have some um, what looks to be. I don't know why every time I take this off, it doesn't want to work, but a lot more bass. It looks like I distorted it within the thing. So it works pretty well. Same channel as that other one I was talking about with the saturation knob, the EQ. And then to add a bit more to it, we add, of course, we needed our respace one shot, but the, the scratchy one. So here, as you can see, there's a bit more. It's following all the, the bass notes. And over here, as you can see, we have some bass noises like dubstep sounds or growls. Well, this is, you know, what we talked about earlier. And over here, we have a... Um, actually, I think that's something I made uh, 2020. I can't remember 2020 or 2021. I did some sound designing with some bass and uh, some samples, and I made something out of it. So this is something that just sounds insane. And I thought it would sound really cool on the track, so I put it there. Down here, there's another one down here as well. Down here, we got our drums, and we added a bit more volume to the drums. We added this clap. And to add some layers, we took some of the, you know, the loops uh, from the rap section and uh, put it here as well. And then we added some guitars. Must be another, uh, must be another layer. Sounds different from the first one. So yeah, everything is kind of doubled in this section. Still, we you still have the um, guitar uh, riff that I played earlier. And then we have what looks to be, uh, might be the acoustic actually playing this. Yeah, that's actually the acoustic. It's just running through a guitar chain. And then over here, what looks like it's just complete loudness. Uh, it's actually my acoustic. I played this and um, I just wanted to boost up the volume. Like I just wanted to be loud in your face. And last but not least, we added our strings, but just pitched up. So yeah, basically that's what it is. And then all together, layer by layer. sounds insane i've been telling a lot of people like what what would the song be used for like for me ever since i think i started it 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 kind of sounds like it could be in a racing scene most particularly fast and furious you know how crazy it gets with those movies so they're doing all kinds of stunts jumps drifts moves see like shots it's could you imagine this in that movie yes you could <laughs> Um, and any other movie that's kind of like that, not necessarily like a um, realistic movie like War or something, more so like a racing, something that gives you drive or adrenaline. So something like this would be kind of cool. Or even like um, a John Wick scene or something. So yeah, I don't want to ramble on. Let's go ahead and finish this, finish this part out. Let's finish this part out. <laughs> So 
a pretty simple ending. I thought I'd give it a very acoustic touch. Um, as you can see, we have a couple of guitars that I'm playing. Um, in fact, let's start with this one first. Just simple chords. Then over here we have that same thing as I was talking about earlier. But it's slowly fading out. I think I used a... No, wait, that's not it. That's the strings actually down here that I slowly faded out with. But then we have this guitar solo that I played. Oops. So I had to sit there for like 10 minutes and figure out, all right, I need to make a really cool melody or something with the acoustic so it can kind of give that touch. Uh, as you can see, we have the same guitar chords, you know, filtered out. And then over here we have uh, what looks to be the guitar reverb throw. And then of course our impact cashmere. And then our strings. And there you have it. New thread. 16 hours and 55 minutes. So there we have it. Yep, the whole breakdown. I'm glad you guys tuned in. And if you like it, give it a like. If you don't like it, you can dislike it. But I don't see a reason why. But uh, there's definitely more to come from me in the future. Sorry I have not been active on YouTube. I know I just with the need for Madison. I could have been doing other stuff, but I was just so focused on the music that I'm trying to get out. And also, I'm working with a lot of people right now to get some of their music out as well. They need some help. So it's um, one step at a time. I got to manage a lot of it. And of course, on all top of that, I'm working somewhere I don't want to work. With all regards to that, thanks for watching the video. I'll catch you on the next one. More music is coming soon. Follow me. Look into the, the, the yeah. Look in the comment section. It's there. I have a link to all my stuff. You can check me out. Please visit my Vault on Discord. Visit my SoundCloud. Listen to on Spotify. Whatever service that you choose. And man, you're in for a ride, man. That's that's all I'm gonna say. So y'all take care. Have a nice day.